old people suck. Drugs are cool. Let's butt chug a Heineken. I don't ever do my homework. Freshman girls. <laughs> I wish my tuition money was going towards drugs. I like to eat cigarettes. Have you heard? The NASDAQ went up 10 points this morning. So I tell them, I say, you give me your 401k, I'll double it, I'll make that 802k, let's go. Let's go. I'm so bearish on the stock market this morning. Dude. I went to the hardware store and they said they couldn't get me nitrotronadium. What? <laughs> they put palladium in my catalytic converter rather than platinum. Likewise. <laughs> Do you know why J.G. Wentworth was frequently drunk on his transatlantic crossings? Because he was courted on the, on the port side. <laughs> oh, yes. Smashing. I just love weed. Yes, sir, yes, sir. My name is Tian Yi Stephen Lee. I'm a current upper class member raised by two executives back in Harbin, China. Mom and Dad. The year when I turned 17, as a head of my own portfolio, I made 497,000 virtual dollars, which really pissed me off, because it was three shy of half a million. No, 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 no. My Ferrari was white, like Jackie Chan's in Rush Hour 3. That's better. From here, I was in. As the icons, I was needy. I consumed enough drugs to sedate Byfield and all of Greater Newbury. <gasps> Commonly used to help housewives fall asleep in the 50s, Quaaludes were banned by the US government. But if you can resist the urge to fall asleep, you get one hell of a high. Sir, I've just got a tremendous opportunity for you. This penny stock got a huge upside. We'll put you at six cent, and then we'll get you out at six thousand dollars a share. Yeah, yeah, you can pay off the whole mortgage you have. Yeah, six thousand shares. Yeah, we can make it eight thousand shares. Yeah, yeah, ten thousand shares. Yeah, let's make it ten thousand shares. Ten thousand shares. You know how much money you make? Six million dollars. Deal. Damn. You're selling garbage yeah. to garbage men. Was this all legal? Hell no. But was it worth it? Absolutely. Wolfie, 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 Wolfie. You're the f***ing king, Wolfie. I was undone. I was untouchable. You live with your parents because you were poor. Your girlfriend ditched you because you were poor. You, who are you? You're a poor undergraduate student. You got nothing to lose. You got nothing to live. So now, you want to get rich? You want to f*** your girlfriend again? Pick up your f***ing phone and f***ing dial it now. The ludes are kicking in right now. Looks like those old lemons had took some time to react. They were finally kicking in. Oh. <sighs> it's a miracle. I even made it home that night without a scratch. Now begins the downfall. Soon the authorities were on to me. Normally, hotshot guys on Elm Street like Lee get away with this. Not this time. Not on my watch. Hey, Mr. Brace, you're a hard-working guy. You des deserve much better than living with those naughty boys and Eames. You join me? We can start with six virtual figures, and then we can double it every single year. Mr. Lee, did you just try to bribe a governor's teacher? Anonymous 
this newspaper destroyed a community. Feelings were hurt. Pizza was victimized. How did these guys do it? Tonight, you'll get an inside look in the Byfield Chronicle tell-all. The following footage is of one of the editors late at night, after dark, printing what looks to be copies of the Byfield Chronicle. Now, no one was able to identify this man on the scene, but we do know that there may be help from the inside. Was this innocent librarian part of the mayhem? Did she know what was going on the whole time? I like to think so. The following interviews are from those who work behind the scenes at the Chronicle. They chose not to be identified on camera. No feelings hurt? Try a couple hundred. At the time, I didn't think of the consequences. You know, you're having fun with your ride or dies. Suddenly you're in too deep. I wanted to quit the staff, but I become larger than life. You know, you sit back and you watch it all unfold. And I gotta say, it feels good. My friends and I, you know, we started writing it as a joke, but no one was laughing. It got real. You know how it goes. We thought we had the ticket. Little did we know we'd bring a community to its knees. I wish I could have stopped my younger self. Maybe say, you don't want to do this, man. I was in too deep. I got it for the Lolo. I'm in love with the Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. I got it for the Lolo. Turn up. I'm in love with the Coco. Hit my plug, that's my Cholo. Cause he got it for the Lolo. If you snitching, I go loco. Hit you with that drink, I order.